Attention. Welcome to the Pathfinder Guru Podcast. And thank you very much for joining us. I hope that you're doing well. And I hope that you're safe under the shadow of God's wonderful, wonderful wings. Today, we are going to talk about a very interesting topic as we are having a seven-day podcast where we are preparing leaders for 2024. I felt like doing this now in December so that we may set our minds straight. We may fix ourselves as leaders to the programs and everything that we are planning for next year so that when we kick in into January, we may be fired up and ready to serve the Lord at our own respective churches. Today we are going to talk about being a volunteer. We are all volunteers. And when we talk about volunteer, we talk about a person that is part of a system, that is part of an organization ready to serve. I love making an example about the body of Christ. When we look at Christ, we take him as our body. When we look at the church, we take it as our body. And in the church, we have various types of leaders. We have various types of people who carry different types of skills. And that's something that we need in the ministry. People who have different types of skills, different types of talents, who are able to serve in the church. Now, there is no better servant than the other. There is no better volunteer than the other. When you look at your hands, you're having hands. And I want you to try something that is very, very uh, strange, which I tried when I was preparing for this podcast, is that when you take your little finger, your pinky, and you take a rope, just try to hold that rope and pull it, but pull it in a way that you do not utilize your pinky. And you'll find out that you will not be able to grip whatever that you'll be pulling, whether it's a rope or it's a ruler, whatever that you need to pull or hold on. But once you utilize even the pinky finger, you are able to get strength and you're able to hold it firmly. And that's what we are talking about today. We are talking about being a volunteer. You know, I love this Bible verse in the Bible. I'm just going to paraphrase it. That says, whichever you find to do, do it to the best of your ability. Because where you are going, where you are going, nothing will happen or you will not do nothing. Where is that? It is the grave. And when we touch on volunteership, we need to understand that when you are being a leader in the Pathfinder ministry, in the Adventurer ministry, you need to understand that you are volunteering yourself. You are giving yourself to the church to say, I am willing to work for the church and I am giving my time, I am giving my resources, I am giving my skills and talents to further on the mandate of heaven. And once you understand that, you are able to become a better volunteer, a more free, willing volunteer, because you are able to give yourself completely. And that is what's going to happen in the ministry as you become a leader. You are going to utilize your own funds at some points. You are going to utilize your own car at some point because you are volunteering yourself. There are many ways of volunteering, but you need to understand Whichever you find to do, do it to the best of your ability and God will do the rest. Now, the first thing that I want us to understand about being a volunteer is that number one, being a volunteer says that you are being a person that is willing to do the work. It is free will. Now, when you talk about free will, it is where we talk about you not being pushed by anything, you not being forced by anything, but you seeing a need and doing that. 
It is about giving yourself completely to the Pathfinder ministry, offering your services, offering your talents and skills as a leader so that you further on and push the club at your own community. Now, once you are free and you are willing to do things of God, things become much more easier as a volunteer. But if you are going to do things because you are doing it for a secret agenda, then it's going to be difficult for you to become a volunteer that is willing to give yourself to the ministry. I've known people who have given themselves in the ministry, who are master guides, but because thinking that when they put on the uniform, they are doing it not for serving, but to be seen by people or whatever the case may be, it becomes a problem. Hence, they are not free willing or they are not willing to do the work of God, but they are more about showing face and for publicity. And once you are a volunteer, you are giving yourself completely because once you put on that uniform, once you put on that master guide uniform, once you have that badge that says director, it shows that you are willing to serve your own local church and not to serve and push your own agendas. Secondly, what you need to understand about being a volunteer is that being a volunteer means not being paid. Now, I understand if you have um, certain skills or things that you need to do that will benefit the church. Yes, at some point, you will be compensated. But most of us come from clubs which we know that at times our compensation won't be the same as when you charge somebody outside. That's being a volunteer. You are understanding that I am offering my services, I am offering my vehicle because I want to push further the ministry of God. Now, when that is in your mind, you understand that you are not going to get paid. And even if you do get paid for a service that you offer or anything that is significant to the ministry, it won't be the same as you are charging a business or a, a company or a private person. Because you are now saying, because I am having the skill, I'm having this vehicle, I am willing to give you this vehicle, I'm willing to give you this bus. All you need to do is just pay for the gas and whatever the case may be. That's being a volunteer in the ministry of God, is understanding what you have, understanding that you may not get paid or you won't get paid, but you are happy to do that because it is pushing the mandate and is carrying out the mission that we have been given by God, which is to preach, teach, and baptize people in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And what better way is it to do it in the Pathfinder ministry where we capture, we attract children to the Lord so that they may live a life filled with joy, peace, and true happiness. And the last thing that is so important when we talk about volunteer is that you are making a difference. Now, once you understand the difference that you're making as a volunteer, I talked about the pinky finger, that we are all part of the body. Whether you're a master guide, whether you're a director, you are here to serve your own purpose. If you are good at one thing, the other volunteer will be good at the other thing. So let us not find ourselves fighting amongst each other as volunteers because in our respective places, in our respective corners, we are making the difference. As much as the pinky is making the difference, the eye is also making the difference. As much as the ear is making the difference, the head is making the difference. That's something that we need to understand as volunteers, that we are all making a difference. And once we understand the difference that we are making it, our own local clubs, it will become easier for us to be at peace with the talents and skills that God has given us. Some of us are not good preachers, but we are good teachers. Some of us are not good teachers, but we are good instructors. You need to understand where do you fit in in this part of being a volunteer and giving yourself and in this whole 
big picture of making a difference and you'll be able to understand that as much as a red is bright and you can see it from a distance, gray is also a beautiful color that plays a part to make this picture look beautiful. We are all volunteers, my dear brothers and sisters. And once we give ourselves to God completely, and once we understand that we are doing this out of free will, we likely won't even get paid. But because we are making a difference and we are carrying out the mandate of heaven, things will come to light. Thank you very much. But for now, you are dismissed.